And now I got a phone call this morning saying that the doctor has some results. Well, hello everyone. It is day three. Uh, from the last time you saw a video of me, I had two pretty rough days. I was still needed a lot of Sheldon's assistance yesterday, um, just with walking and um, seizures. Uh, but I only had two yesterday, and that was in the morning. And so I've kind of been spending the last um, day or the last, I don't know, 18 hours of <laughs> just recovering. And today is going to be a school day. So I am starting out later in the day. As you can tell, it's nice and bright in the house. Uh, the sun is up and I just needed extra rest so that I could actually conquer this day. Um, tomorrow is a work day. So today has to be a school day. And uh, so I took my rest and now it's time to get to the books. Obviously, um, any coffee drinkers out there would understand coffee first, <laughs> and then we'll get to the books. So I'm just going to set myself some ambiance uh, <laughs> for all my reading. So I find it kind of appropriate, um, just with what you saw in the last video, just seeing a little bit of my health struggle and hearing about my diagnosis. And um, I find it appropriate to share with you um, a little bit more of the backstory and what I'm facing this week. So um, my backstory on um, finding out what is actually wrong with me um, falls back to about uh, about um, eight months ago nine months ago we had uh, traveled across Canada to um, a specialist to see a specialist on the other side of the country and get some help from somebody who was a little more um, knowledgeable in the things that I was facing and so when we did that we were able to um, get a lot of testing done that out here in my area would have taken at least two years to get the testing done and to get the results and for us out there it took us one hour to get the tests done and then we were told it would take a couple of months for us to get all the results in. And that's where we were, we were, um, or I was diagnosed with FND, functional neurological disorder, um, back in early summer. And we were still waiting to hear back about these other tests. When we started working with the specialist out there, uh, he told us to wipe the slate completely clean and that we were supposed to start with um, a clean slate and we were going to retest everything and um, and then we will have a better idea of what we're actually dealing with and so that's exactly what we did and we got those results the FND and um, so I was kind of told to just push um, push off the mitochondrial dysfunction and to push off the vestibular migraineosis uh, so that's what we've tried to do and I've just been trying to function doing whatever I can to help myself and over time I'm learning what I can do to give my body a better chance um, just with controlling seizures and um, uh, helping my digestive system and those kinds of things and that's what I talked about in that other vlog that I shared a couple of months ago or a month ago. We are still waiting for one test result to come in. And that was the test on the mitochondrial dysfunction. That test was uh, being 
done in Germany or something like that. I don't know. There was um, the reason why it has taken this long is because it's been um, there was shipping issues. Um, apparently, the shipment have failed like twice already, and for the last three months, I haven't heard anything. And it was kind of all up in the air whether um, the tests had been done, whether the results were in, all of that stuff. And now I got a phone call this morning saying that the doctor has some results. Man, for any of you who have chronic issues um, and are dealing with doctors a lot, does this happen to you? Um, yeah, he has results that he wants to talk to me about and it's happening tomorrow. It's very fast. Um, and I don't know if that's just, um, I don't know if it's because it's really important that I know this fast or if it's just that his week isn't as full as it should be. <laughs> That's something that I always tell myself is that God lets me know what I need to know in the moment. And so I'm very often am completely at peace if I'm not hearing any results. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. It's usually everybody around me that's kind of upset and says, Candy, like you should be pushing harder and you should, you should get down to the bottom of this. And there comes a time in, in life where you actually, you just want to live life and live your best life and not spend it always at a doctor's office. And so this has taken eight or nine months for, to, to actually receive these results, but they're here now. And for some reason it's happening very quickly. So I have to tell myself, it's okay. This news is only for me to know tomorrow, not today. And I have to try and focus in on my schoolwork so that I can stay you know, on pace with my school. <laughs> Yeah, I need your prayers. Um, there's a lot going through my mind right now. So to do that, um, to get my mind onto school, I am going to give you a little bit of an update on how school is going for me. Um, it's been a week now that I have officially been a student. I've been doing lots and lots and lots of reading. And um, I've made it to the second module. And so that's really good. My goal was to get a module done a week. And I just got over that. Um, I'm into my second module already. And so there's so much reading that I have to do. And it's, it's really good for me. It's a great exercise for my brain and for my eyes. My brain, especially because I'm trying to remember some of this stuff and uh and comprehend it and for my eyes because um so often they don't focus well um <clears throat> and i don't i can't <clears throat> sorry i don't get corrective lenses for it because it's actually not my eyes um there's a communication thing between my eyes and my brain um i've been to um uh to an, an eye doctor and they have they said your your vision's actually improving. <laughs> How do you walk out of an optometrist's office with that information? Your eyesight's improving, but I can't see. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. It's crazy what if, if your brain's not working properly, it's just absolutely absurd what you deal with. So, anyways, back to schoolwork. I can't use corrective eye, eye lenses to help with the vision, I just have to pick my good days and I have to read when I can. And so um, that is what I'm doing. I'm learning a lot 
uh, it was a little unnerving when I went through the first module and I was reading all this information. I'm like, but what are they going to ask me like in the, the, the test? What am I going to actually like what in this book am I supposed to actually comprehend? Because there's just so many different uh, like there is actual like science knowledge and then there is like um, information on how to um, improve your health through it like just a bunch of uh tips basically and it's like is am i supposed to remember the tips am i only focusing on the knowledge and so anyways there's just so much going on um in this book that i'm i'm supposed to be reading it's not a textbook it's an actual book and so i kind of feel um after going through the first module being able to do the first assignment i'm getting a better idea of what they're trying to get me to consume in here and what is not important. And so that's good because at the beginning I was super overwhelmed. Um, but yes, uh, other than that, I, I find that Sheldon is getting, um, he's my student <laughs> and um, he is my student uh, who never asked to be taught. <laughs> it's involuntary <laughs> but it's helping me it, it feels like it's growing the proteins it's growing um it's growing the wisdom in me to be able to read it do the assignment and then share what i'm learning with somebody and so i've been sharing a lot with shell but i'm trying to pace myself because i don't want uh him to push <laughs> <laughs> push me out maybe he'll start staying at work longer in the days so he doesn't need to come home to hear me blabbing about what I've been learning but he's just excited about it as I am and so I, 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 I won't say that I'm annoying him yet I'm just fearful I might um but yeah so to get through all of this I I I'm I'm doing well uh I do need continued prayer uh, for exactly um, my body to respond well to what I'm trying to do. I'm definitely pushing my body and becoming uh, a student and learning so much in a short amount of time. Um, but then also just now in this, this waiting time, I would love for your prayers and um, that I'll be able to focus in on the schoolwork and just understand that that has its own category, that I am not supposed to know about it today. I'm supposed to know about it tomorrow. And so I have to put it off into a different category and really focus in on what I need to work on today. And maybe that's a challenge to you. Maybe there's something that you need to categorize correctly in your life that you can be your best today. And um, and that would uh, could be anything. It could be um you know a relational issue it could be uh work that you're trying to get done and maybe you're overwhelmed maybe you're trying to organize your house because well if you're like me um it's snowing outside it's winter and so you really start focusing in on the things inside your home or inside the buildings and you start really focusing on that you're not in the gardens anymore and those kinds of things and so Maybe you need to organize, um, you know, what you're focusing on today so that you're your best today. And so with saying all of that, I really appreciate your prayers. And I'm thankful that you're walking along on this journey with me. Um, sometimes we have those scary days and sometimes we just have victorious days. Today, I'm going to call it a victorious day. Um, I uh, am feeling much better than what I did the last two days and I'm hoping it's going to stay that way and I'm going to be able to get a lot of schoolwork done because I've given myself ample time for that today. Tomorrow's another work day and so I've just got to categorize everything. Tomorrow's work and the appointment. Today we study. So I hope you have a blessed day. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time. Thank you.